What better time than on the eve of the US Open for the ATP to celebrate 40 years of the Emirates ATP rankings? New York City played host as tennis honored its finest. What a great idea to, to celebrate 40 years of the ATP computer rankings and get all the number ones together on the, on the one stage. And uh, that I can be a part of that uh, it makes me very, very proud. To look around and see the guys that you played against that were, that were great and then the guys that came before them that were great and then the guys you read about and, and they're here also, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's amazing. There are people in this room that are the reason that I picked up a tennis racket in the first place. There, there are people in this room that have played since I've moved on from actively playing who have done so many great things and I admire so much. A lot of players that today are here around uh, were one of the players that I, I was looking on the TV when I was a kid. No? So just is, is a dream come through, have the chance to be, to be here with them tonight and just go try to enjoy as much as I can. It's such a privilege for me to be here and, and it's going to be a wonderful night tonight. The event boasted some of the biggest names in tennis. With 19 former ATP World Tour number ones in attendance, it was a unique atmosphere. And a rare chance to see the very best all on one stage, each with his own special memory. To, to be number one is, I guess for me, and I don't know about everybody else, but uh, is what, you, what I really got in the game for. And uh, to, to come out on top was, uh, was pretty special. Leighton, if you could play any player on the other side of the trophy, <laughs> Which one would it be? Johnny Mack I would have enjoyed playing against, I think. We would have had a fiery battle out there. Uh, especially with Hawkeye these days, we could have had a bit of fun. The event also paid tribute to the late ATP executive chairman and president, Brad Druitt. It's quite emotional because uh, Brad was uh, a very close friend of mine. And... Um, that the ATP has gone ahead with this event. I congratulate you all for that, because it's, it's amazing, it was his, it was his idea. <laughs> we all talk about what's going on today, and I, I just want to say to Novak and Rafa and Roger that uh, we're all proud of you three. The, the, the way you've worn the crown and you've represented our game and represented uh, the ATP. So congratulations to you three, uh, especially for today's world. I was taught to, to, to dream big and to you know, dream to be number one of the world and being in this position now, it's, it, uh, it's, it, it brings back the best memories really. And this, uh, this evening tonight is so special. To be part of the game of tennis is a, is a big thing and then plus as many former world number ones and current world number one are here so it's it's nice seeing each other again catching up and especially on a special occasion like this i'm just happy to be part of it really i'm like a little boy here it was a new york night for the world of tennis to treasure Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we take a bice out of the Big Apple at the US Open. And he's got one of the best backhands in the game. We spotlight the stylish Frenchman, Richard Gasquet. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.